Alright, so we're in the last part of this interview and we're going to be talking about your life. Uh, so, uh, let's just reflect at your life here in the United States. So what do you still want to accomplish? Um, as odd as this might sound, I don't have any more career plans. No. I don't want to be the big uh, business mogul, <laughs> you know, or I don't want to build an empire. My biggest plan right now is to see ourselves, what your dad and I, used in the ministry to our maximum, to the maximum, mm -hmm. where we challenge ourselves beyond our limit, okay? Mm -hmm. My biggest goal right now is to see not just hundreds, not just thousands, but millions of young people come to, to make a decision to make their lives, to give their lives over to God so that they can see what God can do with a surrendered life. Mm -hmm. My biggest goal right now is to see more young people succeed because of that foundation. Because a lot of people fail because they miss that. So that's my biggest goal, to, to see more and more of these young people, to see you guys just multiply. Okay, so looking back at everything that you've gone through, what do you think about your life so far? I have never been so excited in my life. I've never been so tired. <laughs> I've never been so challenged. I've never been so joyful. Everything is just, uh, it's like, if I will compare my life now at 47, 45, <laughs> to my life at 25 when I got married, I mean, we, I had different challenges then, and I was already a Christian then, but I've never enjoyed my Christianity as much as I've enjoyed it now. But I've also never worked so hard uh, at the ministry like I've wor I'm working so hard right now. And yet the payoff just gets bigger as far as... Um, uh, satisfaction and fulfillment is concerned. So it's like it's like me me waking up every day and saying, I wonder what greater things are in store. You know, that's that's how how it is right now. So what have you learned about? All your experiences. What, what have you learned from all of them? Well, one thing I really learned is you have to learn to trust God. If you cannot trust God, I don't, I don't know who you can. Because He's the only one who's been steady throughout my journey with what I have right now. And I know there's still a longer journey that awaits, but. With the little that I have experienced, I mean, it's little compared to how others have experienced it. God is the only constant there. My relationship with God is the only thing that's constant. It's the only thing that, that's solid. It's the only thing that I saw was um, something I can ca count on. Everything else falls. That's the only thing that's worth keeping. In. When you sum it all up, if you don't have that, everything else crumbles. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's for me too, by the way. <laughs> so if you could go back in time, would you have ever changed anything about your life? Hmm. One specific thing, memory, maybe that kind of thing, changed everything. Well, I would have tried to change my bad financial decisions. 
I had some bad financial decisions here and there. I wished I have I would have listened to God more on that because the things that I decided on financially, most of them I did on, on out of fear, yeah. not out of trust with God. And so I suffered. And to this day, I still have some credit, you know, um, problems because of that. Mm-hmm. I wished I, I didn't, uh, I trusted the Lord more on my finances than I trusted the Lord with you <laughs> or with my family. So that one I would try to change. But everything else, uh, with everything it taught me, mm-hmm. I mean, I wouldn't them because I've learned a lot. I mean, some of the greatest lessons in life you learn through the most difficult times. Because you never learn them when you're, you know, when you're high there and you're the problem free. So, yeah, I would try to skip the financial, the bad financial decisions, you know. But, Thank God, because of what I've learned from Him, I am getting out of that now. So even that, as bad as they were, I still learned a lot from that. So, you know, the Word of God says, in all things, God works together for good to those who love Him and are called according to His purpose. And um, I would change it into, in all things, God works together for good for those who he really loves because more than I love him, he loves me so much that even my worst decisions, you know, he can turn to something so much better. So, I guess, you know, I would I wouldn't have it any other way. Because I wouldn't learn the lessons I've learned now if it turned out for that. Last last question. How do you want people to remember you when they look back at your life? I want them to remember me as someone who who was really, who understood the love of God. Someone who understood the grace and favor of God. And someone who really loved to see young people succeed. Someone who really cared enough for them and he was willing to, to do whatever it takes. You know. And that's my heart beating. Not just for you, but for all other young people like you and the younger ones. That's how I want them to remember me, as someone they could count on 24 hours a day for anything they need. And someone who will stand by them, pray with them, and do whatever it takes. Because she understood the love of God. Hopefully, I will be a part of their lives being changed. Alright, that's it. Got the latest book, my mom. Thank you.